Yes, we are live. So my name is Tom Beal. Welcome to my office here in Boca Raton. I'm going to keep this brief because I just got a call from Wanda saying she's hanging out at the beach with some friends. So it's time for me to jump on the moped, head to the beach and have some good times this afternoon uh, in Deerfield Beach. That being said, I wanted to deliver some value to you to simplify a topic that I feel can be highly impactful. I've shared this message throughout the world with thousands of people, and they've since uh, simplified their life and simplified the topic of today, which is success. How to simplify success. Um, and I want your feedback because this is going to be something I'm going to do on a regular basis from now on is put together brief videos on how to simplify a certain area, personally or professionally, uh, of your life and many others. So audio is breaking up. Shit. <laughs> That's part of the test here to see if the audio is working and it's not. Ah, okay. I think I see something here. I think I see something. Thanks, for Omar. That is going to help. I think this will help the audio from breaking up. All right, does that sound better? And I will be looking down here to ensure. Uh, sounds like it's crackling. Yeah. Shoot. Thanks for the feedback, Omar. Much appreciated. All right. Does that do any better? Uh oh, there we go. Is the audio any better? Oh, cool. Awesome. Thank you very much. Wow. Feedback was fantastic. Thank you. So I want to simplify success for you. Uh, I deal with many of the well-known successful entrepreneurs throughout the world and myself and they overcomplicate a lot of things. So I like to keep things simple. There's that analogy, K-I-S-S, -S, KISS, keep it simple, stupid, right? So success, first of all, obviously success. Right now there's seven and a half billion people on the planet roughly, and there's probably seven and a half billion different definitions of what success means. You need to put the time and effort into finding out what that means to you. What is success to you? And hopefully through this brief process, you will gain some insights on how to gain that clarity to simplify your journey to success. And first of all, pat yourself on the back for being where you are right now today. You're, you're breathing. You're alive. Life is good. Yes, there's going to be obstacles. Yes, there's going to be challenges. That's just part of life. However, uh, all things considered, count your blessings. Be grateful for what you uh, have accomplished so far and what you're on track to accomplish. So success, gain clarity on what that means to you. And then uh, the other thing is you don't need to be a good drawer or uh, anything of that nature. So success, that's the goal in the middle. And I broke it down into three separate areas. I call this my Trinity success method. At the base, we have health, H. I'll put an H there for health. Now, first of all, let's back up. A lot of people, when they think of success, think of the cash, the money. Show me the money, Jerry Maguire. Um, it's more than that. Health is the first foundation that I find is vital to success because there's an old quote that says, a person with health can have hundreds, if not thousands of goals. A person without health has one goal, one goal only, that's to become healthy. So if you have your health, that's one thing to be grateful for. But similar to success, when a lot of people hear that, they think of money. Health, when people think of health, they think of the reflection seeing, uh, seen in the mirror. Uh, physical health. That's one element of health, but there's more to it. The first, we'll put an M down here. M for mental. Mental health. I'm sure uh, in your journey, you probably have dealt with some people, personal or professional, who weren't all there mentally. And having the mental health is another thing to be absolutely grateful for and always seeking to improve. So uh, in the health arena, it begins with mental health from my perspective. Then we also have the physical health, and then we can get to the E, emotional health. So health, mentally, physically, emotionally. And with the emotionally, sometimes I put a, a slash spiritually, and that's simply to keep it within a triangle. A square would not fit in this particular diagram, as you can see. So health, mentally, physically, emotionally, slash spiritually. What are you doing on a daily, weekly basis to improve your health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. One example, for me, uh, I have a morning routine that really energizes me each and every morning. Here I am in Boca Raton, Florida, and it's roughly a 1.7 mile walk from my house to the beach. And it's a half hour journey there and a half hour journey back. So every morning when it's not pouring rain, which fortunately it hasn't been rain, pouring rain much uh, the last few days, 
I walk. Uh, <laughs> Dan Sapkow, drawing triangles. Yes, whatever it is, I'm in. So I walk that morning uh, walk. It's an hour round trip journey each morning with my earpiece in listening to audible uh, audiobooks. I've trained myself and my mind to listen to those audiobooks at 3x speed. So that one hour, uh, Dave, what's happening, brother? Love you too, man. Hope all is well. On that one hour walk to and from the beach, I listen to three hours of great input into my ears, which helps me personally and professionally and also helps my clients with new strategies, new insights that we can discuss to help them get from where they are to where they want to be. So right away, I'm improving my mental health, my physical health, and my emotional health by being out there moving, getting some sweat going, moving my body, uh, and enjoying that amazing morning routine. So takeaway number one, if you don't currently have a morning routine, uh, take that as an example. This isn't a one size fits all. Uh, a, I haven't always lived near the water. So walking to the beach and back wasn't always an option. However, when I was in Rochester, New York, I had a route that I would go and walk around these ponds a couple times, which added a few miles and walk back to my place there. So figure out what your hour of power is in the morning to get your health in motion in the morning. So mentally, physically, emotionally engaging yourself. And the other tip is if you haven't plugged into Audible yet, do so. It is fantastic. So the other side of um, the, the foundation here is you have your health and we'll put an R here. That's an R. This, by the way, is left-handed chicken scratch. So you don't have to be able to write or draw properly to gain success and or spell. Uh, this is left-handed chicken scratch. I can read it most of the time. Uh, sometimes I can't. Uh, here we go. Uh, hour of power. Yes, sir. So relationships. Now, relationships, there's also three legs to this. So relationships, there's personal, professional, and social. Personal, professional, and social. So you have to understand who your people are. We can't divide our attention equally amongst our 5,000 Facebook friends, right? Because all 5,000 aren't equal. Like, who are your people personally? that are very important to you, your significant other, your parents, your grandparents, your cousins, your sons, your daughters, your grandchild, your grandchildren, etc. Who are your personal people? And similarly, who are your professional people? Who is your team? Who is your clients, your prospects? How are you giving them the proper time and attention? And also socially. Socially, who are the influencers that you're looking to begin relationships with that may go down into the personal or professional scope of the relationships as well? Omar, I have three legs too. Yes, that's why we call you tripod, Omar. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> uh, so with relationships, understand uh, just because they're called, William, you wish. Yeah, yeah I think he wishes as well. Um, understand not all of your friends on Facebook are equal, right? Identify who your key people are. And here's something to remember for relationships. Relationships. Time equals love. Where and when are you giving those key people your time? Because if you're neglecting giving them time, they're not interpreting it as feeling important. And think of it also as a deposit. How are you depositing good things, uh, great value to those that are important to you, not taking withdrawals. I'm sure we have some acquaintances and friends that are on that withdrawal area and it's like, oh, great, they're reaching out. What do they need now, right? Don't be that person. Be that person that, that your friends look forward to uh, hearing from you and you always are contributing and asking, how can I help you? Uh, Cyril, hello, how are you? Good to see you. So in the, the foundation of success, we have health and relationships, which leads us to the top which comes down to the finances, the money, right? Now, money, uh, some people, uh, as Zig Ziglar says, will say, will lie and say money isn't important. And Zig says, you're right. Uh, they'll, it's, it's right behind oxygen, right? You know, it, it, it falls behind oxygen. We, we, we need it in this day and age to open up the options that are available to us. I've been in situations where I didn't have much and I had situations where I've had more than enough and it's much easier. It gives more options to handle problems when you are able to get your finances in order and provide for the lifestyle uh, of your dreams and, and, and create the uh, possibilities to unlock the potential within you and create the projects of your dreams as well. So money similarly has three legs. We call them the Omar. Uh, it has the today money, today money, it has the tomorrow money, 
Once again, left-handed chicken scratch and contribution. So I will speak it because you probably can't read it. To make today money, tomorrow money, and contribution. So today money, uh, in Boca Raton, the bills come every 30 days. Is that the same for you? Chances are good. They don't really miss a beat. They're there every 30 days. So what are you doing that's giving you the ability to provide for those today money bills, the overhead, the overhead to include your living and your lifestyle expenses. What's that number and what are your activities that you're doing on a daily and weekly basis that each and every month they're going to bring in enough to cover your today money. And then we jump up to the tomorrow money. These are the bigger projects. These are the bigger ideas that are going to take more than 30 days, sometimes 60, 90, sometimes 180 days and beyond in order for them to come to fruition. Uh, but they have the highest probability of producing a great return when they are uh, released to the public. They aren't guaranteed, but from your discerning of your previous experiences and, and your teams, uh, it's the highest probability of this has a good shot of producing some great results. What I will say is I uh, highly recommend you have focus on a weekly basis in both those areas, today money and tomorrow money, because you don't want to take your focus off the today money and say, oh, this is the big one. I'm going to give all my time, energy and effort and resources to this. I've seen that happen with a few people who had some great success and they fell in love with their tomorrow money project. And when it was finally released, it had depleted their reserves to nothing and it didn't take off. It wasn't received as well as they had anticipated. Hey, what's happening? I just missed who that was, but uh, what's happening? Uh, and then contribution. So remember, don't fall in love with that tomorrow money project. Keep doing the today money activities and the tomorrow monies. There's no guarantee. Some will, some won't. So what next? Um, contribution. Basically, you can't outgive. Uh, the more you give, the more you receive. Joy, what's happening? And uh, one of my favorite resources is from the duo that created Chicken Soup for the Soul. Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen have a book and a program called The Aladdin Factor. And The Aladdin Factor shows time after time after time how uh, you don't give expecting the return, but the returns are generally so much larger than what you gave of your time, of your resources, of your energy, etc. It, it truly is. Uh, the more you give, the more you receive. And in uh, participating in the areas you feel called to support, and that's diverse, like it's a, it's a wide arena, what you feel comfortable in, in contributing to your time, energy and resources. There's other people that build relationships. So it can be uh, personal and professional uh, contacts that then might turn into some today money and tomorrow money projects. So contribution when you're in that arena and uh, and giving to a cause that you feel uh, is worthy of your time, effort, energy and resources, other like minded individuals who are on the uh, usual path of, of being above average, uh, many great relationships and many great possibilities can come from that as well. So in essence, this is success simplified. And on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, ask yourself, what are you doing to improve your health, your relationships, and your financial situation? Simplify this journey of life. Simplify it to a point of like, all right, I have my morning routine. It's, it's not like Tom's, it's like the one that brings the best out of me. And it's my hour of power that, that gets me moving, that gets me sweating, that gets me out, uh, getting mentally, physically, emotionally energized for the day. I'm clear on who my key relationships are personally, professionally, and socially. And I'm contributing value to those people, to those relationships. And I'm putting the effort in on a weekly basis to improve my today money and my tomorrow money, as well as researching to see where do I feel called to help out? Where can I contribute? The more you give, the more you receive. And in this day and age, I'm, I'm, I feel so blessed and fortunate that we live in this day and age. At the same time, it's if not managed properly, it can be very overwhelming. There's so much happening, so many moving parts. Things change so quickly and so rapidly. This is the anchor. This is what can keep you grounded and keep you on tra track with the things that are important to you. So I hope this is helpful for you. If you're seeing this in the non-live fashion, it's going to be up for a replay. Uh, please post your questions. Like where do you have questions that you feel I need to dig deeper and talk a little bit more about that particular area in more depth? Because this is going to be something that I'm putting on um, that new program uh, at the simplifier, which basically simplifies all different areas of life. And this obviously simplifies simplifies the success journey. This is part one. I have a part two of, of what it can take to help you get from where you are to where you want to be. 
but I want to ensure I have your questions answered because when I post it up on that other page, I want to deliver some results in advance and then have them enter their name and email where I continue moving forward with some additional value. If you want to stay plugged in on what's happening there, uh, it's going to be at thesimplifier.com. So pretty exciting stuff coming up. I hope this was helpful. I hope all is well with you. It's time for me to jump on the moped, head to the beach, have some fun with Wanda and probably the Phil Sames and Cornetta. Samir, excellent content. Thanks, Tom and Omar. Yes, uh, just please call Omar Tripod from now on. That's just his new nickname uh, that's going to stick with him uh, <laughs> from here on out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Trinity Success Method by yours truly, Tom Beal. I hope it was helpful, and I look forward to reading your comments below. Until next time, make today great. Bye for now.